often see the best in people on their face with some of life's biggest challenges. And that's certainly the case with one resident of a care home in Wrexham. Steve has multiple sclerosis, and this means he's unable to hold a pencil or a paintbrush. But that hasn't let him come between him and his love of creating art, finding his own unique way of sharing his talents. We sent our reporter Rob Shelley to meet him. Art's a great leveler. Somewhere between the idea you have in your head and that thin layer of paper, you hope the pictures translate from your imagination to a sort of reality. And of course, it's difficult enough using hands and eye and judgment. Steve Neal has multiple sclerosis, using his hand to paint without. But it hasn't stopped a single brush. How, how difficult is painting with your mouth? With a brush. Um, if you press on too hard, then the brush sort of spreads out and all sorts of things. But it is always different getting a, a, a straight or anything. This is Wrexham Care Home, Pendone Park's art club, where Steve made one major artistic breakthrough. Both painting equals being a bit too close to the canvas. So, one revolutionary thought, and a small length of plumber's pipe later. But paintbrushes or pens, well, it's sort of six inches mm. long. We tried various things first and then came up with the idea of using the plumbing pipes from our maintenance team. Who'd have known that plumbing know. pipes could be so useful for art? Absolutely essential for this type of art. Actually, the art class's work here gets a public airing because they've designed many of the decorations for North Wales International Music Festival. It, it's just persistence. It is, and practice and willingness to have a go and to not feel, you know, what's the word, held back by anything. Disability, not being able to communicate, anything like that, you can communicate through art. What does art do to you? What does it give you? That's not, I take it she's not a lion. No. Just checking, just in case, you know. Actually, animals are artistically popular with the class right now, though. Not an owl right now. Why an owl? Well, um, I think it was owl day or something, didn't it? No one told me it was owl day. I think it was. Oh. Started off with pens, um, doing little dots, um, and has evolved into using paint and paintbrushes, and he just adapts to everything straight away. Steve's created landscapes, owls, public decorations and that simple, very human determination to not let the situation beat you. And that is quite a lot. Rob Shell, on News, near Rex. That's an extreme.